Hey guys, it's 681 Shadow. Welcome to this week's anime discussion. This week I'm going to be discussing Monaka, the truth finally exposed, because in episode 38 of Dragon Ball Super, and by the way, the by the way, if you have not seen the episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 38, there will be spoilers in this video for that episode. So if you have not seen the episode, just start just go out of the video because if you don't want to be spoiled. But if you want to be spoiled, or if you've seen the episode already, just keep listening. So, so the truth of Monaka has been revealed. So, it's it revealed with in a conversation between Beerus and Whis. So Piccolo and I mean not Piccolo, Piccolo heard, overheard the conversation, but Goku and Vegeta did not. So they do not know that that Monaka is a total amateur. And the exact quote from Whis, which I have open. On my internet browser, we says to Beerus, "Could it be in order to motivate Goku-san and Vegeta-san's Vegeta-san, Beerus-sama lied and brought a total amateur?" So that just proves it right there that Bonaka is a total amateur. He's not this extremely powerful being, but who knows that he may he may have some purpose. Like for example, in the um, Dragon Ball Super spo in the Dragon Ball Super spoilers that came out, that person who walked up at the ring at the end. Of episode of episode forty, it could be Mon it could be Monaka. You never know because I saw on um, I believe it was one of Rhyme Style's videos. Rhyme, Rhyme Style is another um, is a Dragon Ball an anime account, and he's at, he actually puts out really good content and stuff. And you guys should definitely go check him out. But basically, this video he said because Monaka's name is a pun on food on a food that Monaka's planet may be filled with sweets, and that's more of like Champa's. Um, select food. Ch Champa is more for the sweets, and Beerus is more like savory foods, like sushi, ramen, stuff like that. So, Mon so what Monaka may do, Monaka may offer up his planet. That's what Rhyme Style said in his video that Monaka may offer up his planet, which I think that's a decent theory that Monaka may go on and offer his planet to Champa, so that Champa doesn't exactly kill. So that Champa still gets what he wants, but it's not Earth, so Beerus gets to keep Earth because he likes the savory foods that Earth provides better. But what I but I think what's gonna happen with Monaka, they're either going to um, completely, they're either going to completely just n not use him for anything else. He may just like disappear off, like kind of like a launch in Dragon Ball, and maybe come up a few times in the future like launch, or she, or Monaka may just um, may just become an important character. Like he may give his planet up up to Champa, and that may go to Universe Six, and then we have like a whole arc of like. Well, at least I'm hoping that we have a whole arc, either a few episodes or a whole arc dedicated to Vegeta going with Kabe, the planet Sadal, and meeting the the king of planets at all. That would be something I would really like. So, it's so it's pretty interesting. I actually, um, the, the theory that Monaka, I actually agree with the theory that Monaka would be a total weakling, and. It's it's pretty cool to see that that theory is actually true. So whoever came up with that theory, whoever the first person is, I don't know, but you know, because you, you know all these people claiming it's like, oh yeah, I was the first one who made this theory, even though it's like ten people who said that. So, but I'm but I'm gonna say that I did not make the theory, of course, because I say I because I say I agree to it, not that I made it, but it's. But that's pretty cool that I agree. I actually agree with the correct with the correct prediction for once because that never happens to me. I mean, like seriously, I predicted my tournament. I pre like back when I did my tournament prediction a few weeks back, that prediction went wrong, right after Vegeta vs Kabe, which was the second battle on my prediction, which is saddening, to be honest with you. But anyway, there isn't really much to say about Monaka other than predictions, like. I said I went over the rhyme style prediction, my predictions, but but let but let me know in the comments section your thoughts about Monaka's truth and what are your predictions for what are your predictions for Monaka's role in the rest of Dragon Ball Super. And anyways, that's going to be it for this anime discussion. I know it's a bit shorter, but there's not really that much to say. Thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Definitely comment your thoughts about Monaka, maybe any theories about him or anything like that. And I know I'm hyped for the next, for the upcoming episodes because even though we got those spoilers, it didn't really say much. We know that that um, Kaioken Goku is coming back, so that's going to be a really um, exciting thing to watch. I it's going to go from heartbreaking to exciting because watching Vegeta just get pummeled because as you can see from my channel, 
Vegeta is my favorite Dragon Ball character. And just see him get destroyed in that episode by Hit. It was sad. It was like bittersweet because it was saddening that because Vegeta's my favorite character. But also it was sweet because it was sweet because A, we get to see what Hit can do, which is a lot apparently. And B, because his showing of that power and, and how he's all mysterious and such, that makes him my favorite character from Universe 6 with Kabe at a close second. So that is that is all for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on next week's anime discussion.